not Frank. Ah, ah, ah. I've got the talking pen now, so you listen to me. Now, I know I'm not who or, or what you'd want me to be. You'd probably rather have a footballer or a teacher or a scientist or something. Hell, you'd be happy with a boy, but you've ended up with an unemployed tranny. Then yeah, I did, I did run, but that's because you've mocked me. Do you have any idea how it felt? Do you have any idea? Every day it was, Frank, why aren't you going to the pub with your mates? Frank, why aren't you going to play football? Frank, 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 Frank! And then one day I come out and I say, it's Jenna, not Frank, and you just laugh at me. So yeah, I left. You know, before I left, I thought everybody in this town were so backwards. You know, you, Dad, Nan, the Roberts, hell, even Stacy. And it turned out it was just you two turning them all against me. You know, I wasn't even going to come out here today. But then my shrink, he said I've got too much emotional hang up on this. So I thought, yeah, maybe I, maybe I should book an appointment. You know, a group thing. And gradually I pluck up the courage to actually turn up. And then I turn up and I get here and I'm bombarded with he, him, his, son, boy, man. And do you want to know what the worst one is? The worst one of all is Frank. Do you not know how much that name eats me up inside? I mean, does it not look like I'm trying to, to, to live a female life? I mean, what is it that's giving me away? Is it perhaps, perhaps my big beard? Or my lack of feminine attire? Yeah, I would think every, the way that I correct you every single time, uh, when you misgender me and misname me, that it would set you in the right direction. You know, I've really come on leaps and bounds in discovering who I am and what I want to do with the rest of my life. And I, I, I've, I've paid for it as well. I've, I've been physically assaulted, beaten up twice for having the audacity for dressing a way that makes me happy. And when I went to report the crime, the police, um, the officer said, he said, maybe if you didn't dress in a way that would provoke an attack, that it wouldn't happen. I was, I was gobsmacked. How could a defender of the police, <coughs> the peace, stand up and condone the actions of a, of a knuckle dragger who wants to attack an innocent minority? So it's safe to say I didn't go to report the crime the second time. Of course, you two wouldn't care, would you? You'd both rather sit there and read your paper to pretend I don't exist. You know, I bumped into, bumped into Craig Roberts earlier this year. Oh yeah, that's got your attention, hasn't it? And, you know, he was so scared. Oh, not scared, but he, he looked all pale like he'd seen a ghost. I said everything straight as well. Yeah. He said, you know, I can't believe that. You told everybody that I knew I was dead. Oh, the shame of having a transgender child. You know what? When I came out, I pretty much told myself that I was dead to you two anyway. Except I don't get any surprises turn up. You know, you're both sitting there as shocked as ever. Horrified that your little boy has grown up to have her own beliefs and, and opinions and desires. You know, I really thought this would have went a lot better. It's too soon. I didn't even want to turn up. In my head, I have it that I would come back to you as a, as a beautiful woman. And you would welcome me with open arms and... I might even bring you grandkids. Granted, they won't be biological grandkids, but they'll, they'll be grandkids. And, you know, maybe, maybe one day Dad would give me away. And I'd get married. And, you know, he would, he would get drunk, give an embarrassing speech and dance like an idiot, you know, classic Dad. And sadly, there's no ta-da moment. No kids, just imperfect me. But, you know... I would rather live my life as some woman that's, that's attacked and neglected by society than the hollow empty shell of a man just trying to fit in. Before I came up here I thought any parent would just want their child to be happy. And I'm, I'm not so sure. Why can't you just love me?